Coronary artery disease affects 14 million people in the U.S. alone. But as Dr. Charles Russo explains, advancements in testing for this disease could greatly reduce those numbers. I think the most important thing for people to do is to get regular screening done for cardiovascular disease. In this country right now, we have good programs set up for breast cancer screening and cervical cancer screening and prostate and colon cancer screening. But the number one killer dwarfs all of those diseases together is coronary artery disease. The coronary calcium score is a huge advance in our armamentarium for screening patients uh, for heart disease. If you have high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, are overweight, smoke, or have a family history of heart disease, you are at risk. 48-year-old Robin Diaz is in the high-risk group. My dad had a long history of heart disease in his family. My grandfather, his father, actually died of a massive heart attack. His brothers um, all met similar fates. Women at younger ages tend to be healthier than men in terms of coronary disease, but by the age of 65, and probably because of their hormonal status, they, they start to catch up to men by about the age of 65 and beyond and become more typical. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. My name is Crystal, I'm Dr. Russo's medical assistant. Hi, I'm Robin Diaz. I'm gonna be checking your blood pressure, your pulse, and we're gonna do EKG. Great. In the past, doctors have recommended lifestyle changes which include diet and exercise. But now when you visit a cardiologist, there is a new high-tech, non-invasive imaging test that determines if your arteries are blocked and whether you are at risk for heart disease. What everybody is stressing in cardiology these days is to get inside the person's body and to look to see if they have the beginnings of atherosclerosis. Cardiac calcium scoring uses sophisticated technology to produce a detailed picture of the heart. Electrodes are attached to Robin's chest. Then the table moves quickly through the scanner taking pictures of her heart. These cross-sectional images are then examined on a computer monitor and will show if there is any buildup of calcium and plaque on the artery walls. If you have a test that looks right inside the body and tells you that plaque is already building up, it's much more powerful than all of these other screening tests. And it's simple and it's safe. After this four-minute test, Dr. Russo and Robin will review her test scores. The lower your test score, the less likely you are to have coronary artery disease. What I'm going to show you first is an abnormal scan so we can get an idea of what a normal scan, which is what you had, looks like. So as we scan down this patient, what you'll see, first of all, he's got a big amount of plaque in his aorta, which is the major blood vessel coming out of the heart. This is the pulmonary artery, this is the aorta, and as we scan down into the level of the heart arteries, this is a plaque in the artery down the front of the heart, more plaque, heavy plaque, that's a plaque in the aorta, more plaque coming to the side artery of the heart as well as the front artery of the heart, and this is you. These are your coronary arteries right here and right here. And as you can see, right in the middle of the chest here, no pink whatsoever. No sign of plaque or buildup in the aorta of the major blood vessels of the coronary arteries. We have the latest technology, we know how to use it, um, and we bring it to our patients' benefit. For more information and bonus footage from this segment, please log on to askthespecialist.tv.